welcome back to my channel so today's video i'm going to share with you my top 10 most used newborn products these are all going to be items that i used with little lincoln right here lincoln is currently five months old and i wanted to wait a little while to film this video i really wanted to narrow down items that i used on a consistent basis because let's be honest there are so many newborn products out there and just baby products in general and they all claim that you really really need them but if you're new to my channel, I am a mom to four little boys under the age of five years old. I have a four-year-old, a three-year-old, a two-year-old, and an almost five-month-old. So I have literally been around the block using newborn products, and I've really narrowed it down to products that I have used with almost all of my kids. Some of them are newer. So with that being said, I'm just going to get right into the video. It is going to be a vlog-style video, and I'm also going to have videos where Lincoln is using these products while he's a newborn. So if you are currently an expecting mom, you can see how these products are used and just get the whole gist of them. So let's just get right into the video. Okay, so I'm gonna start by sharing my top three most used items. And the first one by far that I have used the most is the Solly Baby Wrap. I baby wrapped almost every single day. Anytime I left the house with Lincoln, he was always in this wrap and I am obsessed with these. I have two of them. The quality of them is amazing. The prints are beautiful. So this is the first wrap that I got. Oop, it's backwards. They don't sell this print anymore, I don't think. I think it's all sold out or it's discontinued. The other one I have is like Heritage Blush, I think. It's a pink one. It's stunning. I love how lightweight these are. You can see it's pretty sheer, which is really nice because babies get really, really hot and I've used multiple different wraps that were super thick. I couldn't get them tight enough. They would get loose really easily. I like this because you can get it really snug and it's still breathable. As a mom to multiples, it's really important for me to have my hands free. I'm constantly running around. I'm cooking. I'm cleaning. I'm playing with my other kids, but I also really want that bonding with my baby. And if you're a mom, you know that the newborn stage literally flies by and I don't want to like constantly have my babies like in a swing or in a crib wherever just like not near me because i'm busy doing other things another thing i love about baby wearing is anytime lincoln was fussy or tired or even gassy putting him in this wrap would instantly put him to sleep it probably took two to three minutes of me just walking around my house for him to be completely passed out and he would sleep for a good two to three minutes. Babies just really need that warmth. And another cool thing about this is when they're newborns, you can tuck their feet in so they're like really cocooned in there. But as they get bigger, you can pop their feet out so they hang, so they have more room. Okay, so this is our second most used baby item and this is the Munchkin Baby Swing. I love this swing for many different reasons. One of them being it's a lot smaller than traditional baby swings. Other baby swings are just a lot bigger and they're kind of an eyesore in your living room. I feel like this one just looks aesthetically pleasing, first of all, and also you could just tuck it right into the corner and I feel like no one would really notice it. Um, it also only weighs eight pounds, so I could carry this with one hand and then Lincoln in the other and not struggle whatsoever. So that's really handy because other baby swings are super bulky and very heavy. The other cool thing about this is that when you plug it in, this is all touch screen. So this is how you would operate the swing. I personally never used it plugged in. I think I did once or twice, but my three-year-old and my two-year-old loved to like mess with it. So they would just constantly turn it off and play with all the buttons. But it does have up to five different speeds and also I think 11 or 12 different lullabies. And you can also connect your phone via Bluetooth, which is so cool. I keep my unplugged. So because we don't plug it in, we usually kind of just manually swing it if we're sitting next to him or if we're on the couch and the swing is next to us, we'll just use our feet and kind of rock him to sleep. But he loves this swing and I still use it and I'll probably continue to use it until he outgrows it. And it also comes with an insert, but Mr. Man here literally just had a blowout like an hour ago and it's in the washer right now. It does have a reversible side, that looks like this and is like wipeable, but of course I was using the soft side. <laughs> but he loves the swing and so do I. Yeah. Do you love it so much? Do you love it so much? You're so cute. 
So when it came to tummy time, I felt like I was always really inconsistent with my other kids just because they hated it and it wasn't something either of us really looked forward to. So when I found this play gym, I was actually really excited about it because of the amount of activities it presented and the fact that it came with a whole play guide on how I could interact with Lincoln during tummy time and basically all of the things that they could learn while doing tummy time. So it wasn't something where we were just aimlessly laying him on the ground and just expecting him to continually hold his head up more and more each day. Out of every single play gym I've ever seen, this is by far the cutest. I absolutely love it. I love all the different colors, has multiple different textures all over the play gym. It also has five different developmental zones, which is super cool. So this one is making sounds. Um, it has like different squeakers on it. This one is different textures, so how things feel. This one is exploring colors, and this you can put different cards in. So the play gym came with multiple different cards, a bunch of black and white ones. This one is hide and find, so you can like hide this in here and see if your baby can find it. Um, this helps with like object permanence, which is really cool. And then also came with four different hanging um, objects. So there's this like batting rattle, this really dense like ball. This one I hung myself because the teether is actually in my diaper bag. It came with a silicone teether that also has like this crinkly like wrap on it. Another thing I really enjoy about this play gym is just how thick the material is. If you have hardwood flooring, this would be perfect for you. Okay, so now we're gonna go downstairs and I'm going to show you guys the rest of the baby items because most of them I did use while I was downstairs or by my bedside. So now we're in my room and this is where we keep Lincoln's baby bassinet and this is by Baby Delight. I love this so much. This was so helpful during the first couple weeks. If you're new to my channel, I do co-sleep, meaning Lincoln does sleep next to me in my bed. But for those of you who don't feel safe co-sleeping, which that is completely your choice, and me co-sleeping is my choice, so please, no hate comments. People love to comment on co-sleeping, but that is just what works best for me. What I love about this is it comes right up to your bed, and then this obviously zips all the way down so it's like your baby is like flush with your bed so we actually had to drop our mattresses to the ground because our bed was too high up so the mattress came above and the bassinet was too low but this does have settings on here so you can make it go up even higher i think it goes up yeah, just to six. Right now, we keep it in the middle of our room because our bed is set up now and it's just dangerous having the bassinet lower than your bed in case something falls in, a blanket falls in, anything like that. But he uses this a lot now because now that he's bigger, I've been co-sleeping for a while and mama just really needs her sleep and I've really missed stomach sleeping and I don't sleep on my stomach when I co-sleep. But anyway, I absolutely love this. It also comes with these straps that harness under your mattress so this doesn't move. It goes right up to your bed. Like I said, it can go lower, it can go higher. There's a ton of room in here. Like there is so much room. So the next baby item we used the most was the Snuggle Me Organic. It is a baby lounger, and when you put your baby in it, it basically gives them a big hug. Like, it just sucks them in, makes them feel very safe, secure, even warm. So this is my little demonstration. You can just tell, like, once you put your baby in, the sides are really snug. This is perfect if you're on the couch and you want your baby close to you. You could just set this right next to you. One thing I do have to say... Um, this is not meant for sleeping purposes. If you've watched my nighttime routine with a newborn, I did have Lincoln sleep in this. Snuggle Me Organic says all over their website it is not meant for sleeping, so I do just want to mention that. This is perfect if you just want your hands free, but you want your baby to feel really nice and snug. I would use this when I was doing laundry, if I was just chilling on the couch. I couldn't rave about the Snuggle Me more. I always tell my mom friends how much I love it. I have probably used every single baby bathtub that they sell from the angel care bathtub, which I love, to the flower one, to 
literally the plastic ones you put on your counter. This one is my favorite and I'm so upset that I am just now using it. I'm obsessed with it. It's so convenient. So first you have this newborn insert. So right now Lincoln doesn't need the insert. He can just sit right in here. And what I love about this, first of all, if you're a first time mom, this feature is going to be great for you and probably your first time mom anxiety and that's this thing. So the water will run on this part and it will take its temperature right here and it will tell you if the water is too hot, too cold, or if it's perfect for your baby. That is amazing. But it drains in multiple different places. It tells you where your baby should go. So his feet will go here. Head goes here, obviously. What's cool about this is that the water fills in here and it will spill over and then all the dirty water will just flow right out of there. And then to drain it quickly, you can just open up all of these. It's also really comfortable on my baby. I feel like the Angel Care bathtub was like rubbing against my baby's like back of their heads and it was like ripping their hair out. Um, so I didn't like that. This is very soft. I mean, as you can see, like, you can just easily make marks in this. This is from, like, my fingernails or probably one of my kids, honestly, like, picking at this. But I love this so much. It's also great because you can put it, um, in your sink, as you can tell. You can put one side in your sink, the other side in the other part. But unfortunately, my new house has a very small sink and I bought this while I was still living at my old house thinking that I could use it in the sink, but it didn't really work that way. So I ended up purchasing this bathtub because of the convenience. I mean, bending over the bathtub postpartum is just not something I want to do. I've done it before. It hurts your body. You're so fatigued and just sore. And being able to stand up like at your kitchen sink and bathe your baby is literally a godsend. I did it a couple times when Lincoln was a newborn. It was kind of hard because my sink is a lot smaller, but if you do have a double sink, it'll be so easy to fit it right in there, and it's just comfortable. Your back isn't like aching because you're bent over. Highly, highly, highly recommend this tub. So next is a diaper cart and unfortunately I did not have one of these with my first two babies and I regret it so much. You can put so much on here. It's a lifesaver during the first few weeks. Mine looks completely different now than it did when Lincoln was a newborn. I had this thing filled with so many different things. I'll try and insert some clips. Um, right now it looks completely different. It's kind of like an end table, but my bed is so big that I can't fit the end tables that go with my bed. So I'm just using this as an end table currently. I seriously cannot suggest a diaper cart enough, especially in the first couple weeks. You just have so many things. I keep receiving blankets on there. I keep extra zippered onesies. I keep literally anything I would need. Like I put liquid IV, snacks for myself, water bottles, just everything. Anything I could need in the middle of the night, I kept right here by my bed. And actually, if you do want to see what I put in my diaper cart when Lincoln was a newborn, I will link the video down below. It's in my, I think, night routine with a newborn. I showed you guys everything that I keep in my diaper cart. Lincoln is actually down for his nap right now, so I had to come back upstairs. Um, so inside is the rest of the items that I want to share with you guys. So next is a diaper caddy. I kept this um, upstairs in my living room with everything that was basically on the diaper cart downstairs. I had also put in here and kept this right next to the couch. That way I didn't have to keep going up and down the stairs. So I had like nibble cream, a boogie sucker, you know, diapers, wipes, swaddles, um, breast pads, basically just anything that I needed postpartum and for Lincoln as well. So definitely recommend a diaper uh, caddy. I got this from Amazon. I'll link it down below. I love it. It's super cute. Um, and there's a lot of room in here. So the next thing I want to share with you guys is this swaddle. This is from Copper and Pearl. This one was Hudson's. Lincoln is currently wrapped up in his elephant one. They have the cutest prints. Like literally they are so stunning. Worth the price point. They're super stretchy. Like very very stretchy. You can get such a good wrapping with these and they're giant. Like they're literally so long. Um, so I really love them. I also love that they come with hats. 
I'm so sorry if you can hear my boys. They're jumping on their bed right now. Um, so this is the peanut one that Lincoln has. It just is blue and has little elephants on it. I love elephants. They're my favorite animal. Um, and then this one was Hudson's. It's like this lumberjack scene because I thought he was going to be born in December. Um, but yeah, I love them. They're super, super stretchy. Amazing material. Um, I didn't really have to like swaddle Lincoln a lot, but now that he's a little bit older, he actually loves to be swaddled. So I do get a lot of uses out of this. Um, Hudson actually would take this to bed until he was like a year and a half old, I think. Um, and then next in here, you guys, if you watch my vlogs, you know that I use this almost every single morning. So this is the Ava and Oliver vegan leather changing mat. I like it for multiple different reasons. One of them being that it's honestly just really cute. I mean, the scallop trimming is super pretty. Um, but the other thing is that it's really large and I've heard a lot of people say how much they like this because it wipes clean. I've used a bunch of different like um, wipeable, wipeable changing mats and they always leave stains. This one has yet to leave a stain. So I really enjoy it. Um, I kept it by my bedside right now. I actually keep it in my diaper bag. Um, just because I don't really need to change Lincoln all that much in the middle of the night anymore. I did a lot when he was a newborn though. So this really came in handy in the middle of the night. It also folds up really nicely and it's super compact, which is another cool thing about it. This bulb is so simple, yet so helpful. Again, if you've been following me for a while, watching my vlogs, you know that poor Link was literally sick for the first like three months of his life, and this thing was our best friend. Poor Buddy was congested all the time, and I think this is just a lot safer than using those like boogie suckers where you like can suck their boogies out. Um, I don't know. I don't think it's gross or anything. I think it just might be a little bit too much and I don't want to like inflame their nostrils or anything. I don't know. Maybe that's a little bit of a stretch, but this worked great for us. It was free. I got it at the hospital. And if you lose yours at the hospital, um, your pediatrician should have a bunch of them. So just ask. I did because I needed an extra one for my diaper bag, but I absolutely love this. This works so well. So the next thing I have in here are a bunch of receiving blankets. I got these from Target. They're by the Cloud Island brand. I do keep them on my diaper cart downstairs but I use them so often they were like all dirty um but these ones I keep upstairs I actually keep them where I keep all the diapers receiving blankets have so many different uses and if you're a mom that struggles with a baby with reflux these are going to come in handy luckily Lincoln doesn't really spit up all that often but when he has I love these because they're super absorbent they're really soft cloth material and they're also super cute um I've used these to like drape over the car seat if like the sun is in their eyes I've used these to cover myself up when I'm nursing. They're really large and I don't know, I just use them all the time. I also mentioned that when Hudson was a baby especially, he had peed on our bed in the middle of the night and there was just no way, like two weeks postpartum, I was gonna get out of my bed and change my sheets. So I just draped this right over the little spot and called it a night and then the next morning I changed my sheets. But I just think they're so versatile and I get a ton of use out of them. All right, this is the last product I'm gonna show you guys and this is the Tubby Todd All Over Ointment. This is basically for dry skin, eczema prone skin. It's great for baby acne, rough patches. You can use this at any age. It's safe for newborns. It's made with all natural ingredients, plant-based ingredients. And I've been using this on Lincoln ever since he was born. You guys have seen me use it multiple times. Kevin uses it. I use it on the boys. And right now, especially, Lincoln has a really bad drool rash going on. So I've been using this. You can see how much I've used. And this is like my fifth bottle. Um, not the fifth one I've gone through, but I have five of them. I have them all over my house because of how much I enjoy them. Okay, now you can see it. But the smallest amount goes the longest way. It's super rich and creamy. And my favorite part about this is that it's fragrance-free. And fragrances really irritate the skin. I don't understand why they're in newborn products. They're skin is seriously so sensitive and I feel like that is what irritates their skin the most. We even ended up like switching our detergent. We don't use anything with harsh fragrances in them anymore. So if you guys have a baby that struggles with baby eczema or you know somebody, please share this with them. I shared it with one of my best friends. She was hesitant and I actually just saw her yesterday and she was like, oh my gosh, it works so well. I love it so much. Um, Cause I had so many of them. I was like, please use this on her skin. It's going to change it. Um, and it did. So I really recommend this. I love it so much.
I just finished editing and I realized I never filmed an outro for the video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did, make sure you give the video a thumbs up and also comment down below. I love responding to your guys' comments and just talking to you guys. And subscribe if you aren't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.